Hey guys, we're here at the beach today and uh, we're going to be doing some night beach fishing, see what we can get. We were thinking of doing the food chain challenge that I've been hearing about and watching on YouTube a lot lately. So what we're going to do is, we're going to uh, try and catch some, uh, so we've got prawns just in case we don't catch anything at the very start. But we're going to use the prawns to catch some sandworms, then we're going to use the sandworms to catch perhaps some dart fish or some whiting, and then we're going to use that to catch something bigger like a tailor. So um, yeah, let's go get to it. Alright guys, as we're making our way down to the beach, we found some uh, sand crabs that we put in the bucket over here. We're just going to use those as our first piece of bait. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, right, so we're just going to crab in here. where we cast the line and on the shore we've got two of these big buggers. Big sand crabs. How good is that? Alright guys what we're doing is oh my god look at you you monster oh jeez Can you grab my hat? This actual behemoth of a crab. Ready? Put him in. Oh my god, he's like triple the size of them all. That's gonna be monster bait, guys. I literally just started filming walking down the beach and this big sucker. Oh my god, yeah, he's definitely a male, very aggressive. Gotta be real careful, but he is a good crab, guys. Look at him. Massive, big bloke. I even used my hat to get him because his claws are so big I thought he was going to nip me. But uh, yeah, let's keep looking for these guys. So guys, one of our rods lines was really, really old and it just keeps breaking. So uh, we're going to have to take this one out the challenge. But we've still got this rod here going on and that rod over there going on. There's two more rods out of three. We've got one, two, three, four and we have another one hidden underneath somewhere. Uh, that's five. Little dude under here. He's on his back. Something's up with him. Unless he's just playing dead. I don't know, but he's not doing too good. This bloke here, from otherwise, this big one. Geez, big. We're gonna try and get some sand worms now. So uh stay tuned for that. Massive brim. It is humongous. What was this on? Brawn? I think this was on Brawn. Absolutely humongous. Show you some pictures at the end of the video, but that's amazing. Good job, Zach. All right, so big congratulations to my brother Zach here. Caught that massive, at least 40 centimeter brim. That was incredible. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to catch the sandworms. I've got this prawn here that we're going to use. So it's all yuck defrosted, smells horrific. And what we're going to do is, when the tide comes in, we're going to put it into the water and rub it on the sand, so that the sand goes out onto the sand, and then we'll, I'll show you what to do from there on. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Alright, we're not doing the sandworms anymore. 
it's too rough and uh, as soon as we put the bait out, it, the wave just crashes us and uh, we just got completely drenched. So um, we're just going to stick with the crabs. So we're going to go down to the shore. Me and my brother Zach and Samuel, we're all going to put some crabs together and uh, whatever we catch, we'll put it in the bucket and use it for bait. Let's do it guys. Right, so I'm going to film my brother Zach catching some crabs. So we're just going to walk up on the shore like this and then basically as soon as we see a little movement, like that, He's tiny, so we won't use him, but I'll just show him a close up of the camera. See? Yeah, he's sniffing me. Yeah, he's a little cutie. Look at that. So, yeah. Like I said before, the whole sand sandworm idea didn't work out. We just got crushed by waves and couldn't even do it. But I'll definitely show you guys how to do it within a future video. But, uh, yeah, let's just keep looking for some crabs and we'll come back to you when we find one. Alright, we see something big up here, so we're just... Oh, my God. It's a, it's a ball. It's a squishy too. <laughs> Our dog Teddy would love that. So we'll keep a hold of that. Let's keep looking. Oh, there we go. We can see the sand now. Finally. Now our dog Teddy keeps chasing him away. So we had to send him back, but he's just not going back. All right, right here. Go. Oh, right, we missed that one. He passed me the torch. You need both hands and don't go slow, just go jump straight on him. The shadow makes it so much worse, like you can't see him when you're in the shadow. No, you just see like a little white head. Oh, I saw something move, but now I'm too scared of Yeah, we'll start heading back. Film, but this dude ran right past and I just grabbed him just as he came past. It's really hard to get it on film because the light on the camera is really, really dark. But yeah, we got uh, this carrot here, so we're just going to try and find some more on the way back to our tackle. Let's go! Welcome to Crab Wrestling. Who's going to win? Go, 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 go! Get him! Get him! Wow, instant pause. They're just like, run, 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 stop. That was awesome. Yeah, we got about like six, I call like three in one of my hands. It was the best. But uh, yeah, there's heaps of them. I think we're set for bait now. Now we've caught the brim. Now we're onto the third part of the food chain. We've got to get a big one, guys. We've got to get a big one. We have to get a big one, don't we? Alright, guys. We didn't complete the food chain challenge. We only got halfway there. We could have gotten something bigger, but we ran out of time. It's getting real late. We've got to go to school tomorrow. So uh, we have to let these crabs go. We'll get it all on film for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.